the places she'll go. The remarkable career journey of Rose Marie Stevens. From her family's loving roots in Anderson, South Carolina, where she always wanted to become a school teacher. What I remember about Rose being always wanting to be the teacher. Shut up, Haley, and listen. Now I had enough. <laughs> she would wear a sweater around her shoulders, and, and she would uh, have her on some old glasses, maybe to sit down on her nose. She would make all kind of little worksheets for us to do. She really thought she was a teacher. She And she always mm -hmm. had to be the teacher. We always had to be the students. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. never did get to play the role of the teacher. Uh, I remember and where she was affectionately known by family and loved ones as Pee Wee. When Pee Wee graduated from Hannah High School, oh, they read her name out in church. And when Floyd found out, or oh, Floyd asked me, who was Rose Marie? And I said, that's Pee Wee. Okay. To earning her degree at South Carolina State College, where she met the love of her life, James, to embarking upon a nearly 50-year career that would touch the lives of thousands of students, Rosemarie Galloway Stevens, we say job well done. From her early teaching career in the upstate, in Greenville, Gaffney, and Cowpens, to leading first and second grade classrooms in the Midlands at Utopia, Batesburg Leesville and White Knoll Elementary, where she was named Teacher of the Year in just her second year at the school, Mrs. Stevens has soared and shined. Her loving nature extended beyond reading, writing, and arithmetic. She often brought hair products to school to groom children's hair. She was often donating clothes or sewing them for special events at school like children's graduations. And she instilled confidence into every young child with her song, I Am Somebody I Can Excel. She made sure students showed up feeling and looking their best and ready to learn. My mama sent me to school with no earrings on and I had on a white shirt and Miss Rose took out her earrings and put them in my ear and I took pictures. You know, sometimes when I used to go to the playground and my hair would get messed up, she would be like, you better stay at the class so I could fix that hair. So she would fix my hair so I could go home. Um, she was an amazing teacher. Um, she's an amazing person. I'm blessed that I was even able to be in her classroom. You know? Yeah, mama used to bring over students to spend the night at our house quite frequently primarily in the 1980s and early 1990s, sometimes several times a week, kids that I had never seen before would spend the night with us. And that just shows how much she really cared about the students beyond the classroom. Now in our state's capital city of Columbia, where she served in Richland School District 1 for the past 20 years as a master teacher, instructional coach, reading interventionist, and reading coach, we say a hearty congratulations. Ms. Stevens has committed herself not only to the classroom, where she is beloved by students, their parents, and her peers, but she has committed herself to the craft, earning national board certification in 2002 and her master's degree in education from Cambridge University in 2005. She has spent countless hours teaching children the most fundamental skill, literacy. You know, I was a terrible reader, and, you know, she actually helped me to learn to read and would sit down with me and give the extra time where we would all be reading, but she would come to my desk and would help me. And I still remember those days. Uh, and I love when she would start singing, break out and dance. And, you know, she made everything so interactive. She also uses her gift of singing and playing piano to produce and copyright songs that teach children how to count money. And she's been a shining role model to her peers and aspiring teachers, serving as national board mentor, state testing coordinator, cooperating teacher for MAT interns, and clinical adjunct for interns at the University of South Carolina. To teach with Rose Stevens was the best. To have her in your corner was a blessing. To watch her excitement and joy of coming to work every day was unreal. The epitome of a person who loved their job and the children she taught.
In the midst of inspiring young minds, she faced the toughest battle of her life, being diagnosed with stage two breast cancer in the summer of 2017. Nevertheless, surrounded by the support of family, loved ones, and friends, and a box full of dozens of cards from her progressive church choir members, she persisted and she continued to serve in the classroom. Her positive impact has been felt by past students and family who decided to go into education because of her. While she may be leaving the traditional classroom that she loves so dear, we know she will continue to make an impact with her many gifts, including as a piano teacher, master seamstress, and as choir director and Sunday school teacher at her church, Progressive Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ, Incorporated in Columbia, South Carolina. You and I taught together in Batesburg for a number of years. I remember you as an excellent teacher. You are also very talented. In 1992, you made my maid of honor and bride made dresses. I will never forget your generosity and willingness to bless my wedding. Personally, I enjoyed working with you and learning from you as a fellow Sunday school teacher. Now I'm so blessed that my own children have the privilege of having you as their Sunday school teacher. Your work continues to speak for you, and the rewards are too numerous to count. Oh, the lives you've touched, because knowing you is truly a blessing. Congratulations on a successful 45-year career in education, Mama Rose. May you continue to smile, dance, laugh, travel, see the world, and enjoy time with family. Remember, the best is yet to come.